Hello, hello, hello. It's the new time. Lunch time. Well, at least if you're in Arizona. Hey, do I look too short over here, Mario? They cut my head off at all? Yeah, like from this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Whoop. Everybody say something when you come into the room. I'm slurring my speech because I'm tired. Ooh. Hey Ace, how are you, man? How's life treating you today? Leela, hello, good to see you. Welcome to the show. Hi, baby girl, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Hope life is treating you well. Wow. A lot of friendly faces coming in today. Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, October 6th. My God, it's October 6th. Is it October? My gosh, it's October 6th. So, behind me, you see the beautiful coffin calendar, or a Halloween calendar that Moonshine Mel made for us today. And I hope everyone's uh, really enjoying a lot of the fun little things uh, we've been tipping in uh, your orders each day. We go ahead and pick a new coffin number representing the date, so tomorrow will be the 7th. We'll go ahead and go through and pick those prizes, and whatever order you place, we will put one of those items in your order for that day. So, a little special Halloween trick-or-treat uh, thing for you today. All right. Yes, Halloween month is the best month. And it's amazing here, because uh, I don't know where you all are at, because um, I know everyone's watching around the world. But here, it's kind of nice because all of a sudden we have nice weather and it started in September and usually that doesn't happen until like after Halloween does it get nice around here. Normally it's still 100 degrees sometimes, um, but it's been nice. So yay fall, um, the whole week and a half we have it here in Arizona and our two weeks of winter is on the way. Yay! I don't know, hopefully it'll stretch out and we can get a real proper winter for a change. I don't know. Um, let's see. Got some announcements to make for you beautiful folks here. All right, it's news time. So, eight days, to probably more like seven, Hell Witch versus Lady Death Wargasm hits the Kickstarter. That's right. This one is for all the marbles. This decides the future of cough and comic storylines. Will Hell Witch defeat Lady Death or will Lady Death defeat Hell Witch? You get to help them decide by uh, go ahead and every time you back a campaign, you get one physical vote uh, for uh, decide who wins, Lady Death or Hell Witch. Or if you get those last 33 five vote totems, we're tipping in for the sacrificial annihilation orders that are going to be going out soon. Um, you get five extra votes, so you can throw those votes towards Lady Death or Hell Witch and totally change the whole future of our storyline. So I think that's really exciting. It's very cool. Uh, right now I'm here at HQ and we're getting everything set up for the preview of Hell Witch versus Lady Death, which will happening today in about uh, four hours, less than four hours from now. Uh, Brian will be showing you guys all the beautiful additions that will be available to pick up on our next Kickstarter, Hell Witch versus Lady Death, Wargasm. And that'll be wrapping up our year-long event of Death Apocalypse. So it's been a hell of a year. It's been a lot of fun um, bringing out these additions to you guys. Thank you, everyone, who's been uh, supporting us and backing our campaigns and also spreading the links and getting uh, new people to join us here at the Coffinverse and at Coffin Comics. Um, a couple other things I'd like to announce. Oh, that Kickstarter. Oh, man. I've seen some of the art. Not much, but I've seen some of it. And um, I really think you guys are going to love some of these additions that we are going to be doing the sneak peek today. So Wednesday, October 13th, next week, I can't believe we're already a week away, we will be launching the Kickstarter for Wargasm. Please be here. This will be at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, Arizona time, 10 p.m. Uh, for all you beautiful people on the East Coast. So join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here is a list of some of the contributing uh, artists. 
uh, for these editions. We got Cece Dela Cruz, Dan Feldmeyer, Dan Mendoza, uh, Don McTeague, and I've seen one of her new ones. Oh boy, she did it again. Diego Bernard, also again, taking it to a whole new level. Elias Chatzudas, Eric Basaluda, <laughs> get ready. Ireland Reed, mm, cosplay cover, I think. Jesse Wishby, Go Joe Gomez, John Boy Myers, Jose Varsi, uh, Juan Fernandez, Mike DeBalpo, Mike Crow, Monty Moore, Richard Ortiz, Sanju Nivadu, Sean Forney, Sword Song, Stephen Butler, Sun K, Tabitha Lyons, and more. So if you are part of the VIP newsletter, you've probably already seen some of the images. Uh, there's a great one by Joel Gomez is showing. Uh, it looks like here, oh, that risque edition. I'm not gonna show you because I'm gonna save that for the preview because the images I have are black and white and you wanna see the full Monty. Full Monty. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, I'm not doing that here. It's a family show. All right. Also, speaking of Kickstarters, your last chance for the Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation pop-up crypt ends Friday, 5 p.m. Mountain St Standard Time. That's this Friday, October 8th. We will be closing the pop-up store. Also, that is also when we are shutting down CrowdOx. So if you haven't gotten your survey done, you have till Friday. Once you can get it done before Friday, the easier it is for us to get all the components together so we can pile your order and get it shipped out to you. If you are going to be doing the survey after the 8th, say you reach out to us like, I've been on vacation, I totally forgot, oh my gosh, life, because we know it happens. If you reach out to us, we will definitely see what we can do to get you taken care of over at inquiries at coffeecomics.com. Mel's there to help you out. But again, 5 p.m. this Friday, we are closing the pop-up crypt store and shutting down the survey for our backer survey for Sacrificial Annihilation. Whew, man, this is going to be a... I, I, I have a feeling the uh, warehouse crew, they definitely have their work caught up um, for them. <laughs> they definitely got a lot of orders to uh, get packed up and get shipped out to you. But you know they're going to do it because they're a hell of a great crew, so... Props to the warehouse crew. Brandy is leading them into some amazing achievements. So round of applause to the warehouse crew. Also, coming up, Swarmfest tickets are still available. It's going to be on February of 2022, the end of February. We are taking over Mesa, Arizona. We are dominating. I can't wait to see you all there. Please, please, please get your tickets. It's $40 for the whole weekend. Or it'll be $25 on Saturday, $20 on Sunday to get in. However, you do not receive some of the special exclusives or tickets or the other cool swags we have uh, specifically for the all weekend passes. So get the weekend pass. It's a great deal for $40. Now that you get to hang out with some of the most beautiful people in the world. I guarantee. So be there. It's going to be a blast. I'm looking forward to meeting all you guys. Also, um, Marat Michaels will be there, for all you Marat Michaels fans. Uh, he started out at Image Comics, uh, first rookie working for the highly successful uh, Extreme Studios. That was right about the time I met him, uh, after he met, uh, moved here from Arizona, uh, from Cali to Chandler, Arizona. Known him for, uh, God, as long as I've known Brian. Great guy, wonderful guy. He is the founder and godfather of Counterpoint Comics and has a long and successful career in the comic book industry as a creator. During his uh, career, Marat has worked on numerous titles for major publishers, um, but what he really enjoys is doing his own creator-owned projects. That's right, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. All right, so meet Marat, Swarm Fest 2022, that's February. Tickets are still available. I know Ace is gonna be there, right Ace? Don't leave me hanging, buddy. Eric Hart, how are you? Nicole, you should be seeing that. Yes, it's 61. I'm a little jealous. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, you'll probably see that PD up uh, going out. Check out the preview though. Uh, there, I've, I've only seen a little bit of the mock-up so far. Uh, I saw the metal one, um, saw the metal jewel one. 
gorgeous. And saw a Don McTeague one. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say is yeah. These are really beautiful books. I think everyone's really going to like this. All right. Time for a Sworn Club member spotlight. Well, you're like, what's a Sworn Club member? Well, it's the club we have here at Coffin Comics. You're probably like, well, what do I get out of it? Well, your yearly membership benefits are the following. Special access, Coffin Comics Insider News before anyone else. That is a fact. Early access to Coffin Comics shopping promos. While everyone in the general public shops at 10 uh, for the uh, exclusives we launch on our pro weekend promos, you get to go in at 9 a.m., an hour before the general public, just for being a Sword Club member. So you get to scoop up those exclusives that you're looking for before the general public. You got one hour to scoop up what you're looking for. All right, an invite only special online events and announcements. Really cool videos, really great little interviews. They're gonna go live, you get access to it. Uh, you also get special uh, access to the Coffin Comics Swarm Club member only comics and merchandise. You get a one-time 10% discount on certain items on Coffin Comics, and you are automatically entered to win into a monthly prize drawing. We do that every month here at Coffin Comics for Swarm Club members. So Swarm Club members, it pays. Join today. So we're going to do a spotlight. <coughs> Excuse me. On uh, Nolan Bradley. Um, he really got this great uh, display cabinets um, from an ant getting ready to move. And um, he sh shared the photos of his items in the collection in his new display case. Beautiful, Nolan. Thank you very much for sharing your collection. That case is going to just burst at the seams, I have a feeling, with all the beautiful things we have here at Coffin Comics. Thank you very much for being a Swarm Club member. Uh, we salute you. Thank you very much. All right, last but not least, the La Huerta Legacy, um, excuse me, bleh, English is hard this morning. Uh, the La Huerta uh, three-piece, six-inch, uh, one-six scale, six-inch, uh, one six, uh, one six scale, fully articulated figure set from Executive Replicas um, is now available with down payments for monthly uh, down payments uh, for, oh God, I'm just having a day, for interest-free installments of $144.99 uh, with shop pay. Again, this will be available quarter two of next year. So if you are very much interested, you don't have to put down the full amount. There is a payment plan for easy payments of $144.99. All right, everybody, that's it for the news. We'll catch you tomorrow with the news. Let's uh, show you guys some beautiful additions we have here. For this weekend's promo, I'm really excited. I think uh, woo these are beautiful pieces. Uh, what I'm about to show you is truly beautiful. Let's start things off with La Muerta Pinups Navy Edition. Limit one issue per household, limited to 100 serial number copies. It will run you $25. And it is also a companion piece to Lady Death Pinups Navy Edition. This too will run you $25. Combine the covers. Boom. Look at that. These are combined covers to make a full piece. Lady Death and the La Muerta are both limited to 100. $25 each, limit one per person, per customer, per household. Right here, beautiful set. Help us celebrate the birthday of the US Navy. All right, while we're still on that theme, Monty Moore has really done it again. I showed this to you guys on Monday, so if you missed out, this is Lady Death Unholy Ruin, Vintage Navy Edition. He's been really, really cranking out some really beautiful uh, pinup books. These will be uh, limited to 150 serial numbered copies. It will run you $25, and there is a limit of two per customer, per household. This will be available Friday, October 8th. So this Friday, coming up, this will be available for you today, along with some other beautiful editions. And you know around here, we love Halloween. 
It is our favorite time of year here. So, start things off right. We've got some beautiful additions for you. This is All Hallows Evil Wicked Witch by Richard Ortiz. $25, covered by Sanju Nivenjun. Limited to 150 serial numbered copies. This goes live Friday, October 8th, this coming Friday. These will go fast. This image is stunning. But Mr. Ortiz also made us a second edition. This is the Naughty Wicked Witch Edition. $30, limited to 200 serial numbered copies. $30. This will be available on Friday. Friday, Friday. These are our first exclusives for the Halloween season this year. And uh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I think I'm actually, yes, I am missing one. Okay. Oh, no. So I'm missing the uh, hollow foil version. I left that on my desk. All right. Two other items. These are from Mr. Harrigan, so you know you're going to get something amazing. This is Lady Death Dreams Trick or Treats Edition. This will run you $30, limited to 150 serial number copies. These go live Friday, 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 October 8th. Get them while you got them, because they're going to go quick. These are beautiful pieces by David. What would a Harrigan be without its naughty counterpart? Bad boy, you. Here you go. This is Dreams Naughty Trick or Treats Edition. $30 limited to 200 serial numbered copies. This goes la 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 live Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. And hot off the presses, Jimmy has just given me the hollow foil edition to run you $77.77. This is Lady Death Hot Shots Mummified Hollow Foil Edition. The mock up is not hollow foil, but the final product will be. I wish I had the hollow foil to show you. But, oh, 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 picture this, Michael DePascali, this hollow foil. This is a brand new image. Would you like brand it? Brand new. The hollow foil? You have one? Have oh, one. Brandy's got a hollow foil for me to show you guys so you can see what it's going to look like. Um, there's only going to be, again, 66 of these. Very slow number. Uh, low serial numbers on the hollow foils. They're even uh, roughly fewer than the metals in some cases. So I can't wait to see this. This is my first time going to see this edition, uh, just like you guys, as a hollow foil, the finished product. I can't wait. I'm really excited. Come on, Brandy. Run, run, run. Oh, gosh, pardon me. Oh, thank you. I grew them myself, Jay. <laughs> well, um... Uh, I'll be, oh, 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 oh. Hot off the presses. Hot off the presses. Here we go. This is what the finished book will look like as a hollow foil. Wow. Look at that. Rainbow effects. It'll blind you if you're not careful. And check out that back cover. Again, beautiful piece. Michael DePascal. This is a new image. New image. Get it while we can because this will sell out. All the hollow foil editions tend to sell out before anything else. Thank you so much, Brandy. Hot off the presses. Thank you, Brandy. Everyone, let's give a sworn out to Brandy. Sworn out to Brandy! I want to see those in the comments, please. Yeah. Look at, wow, look at how that looks on camera. Eric, yeah. I agree. I could go either way. I could either go for a uh, hollow foil or non-hollow foil, but that hollow foil really, really just, it makes that art pop, and this is stunning. And the last uh, offering we're doing... Don't worry, there is prints for all you Prince fans out there. We'll have nine prints available, and they're $16 each, and we will also be offering a special print set as well. Justice for Sparkles! Justice for Sparkles! Who said that? <laughs> Nicole Rogers. Nicole, She's, no. 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 Do not tell her no. No. Do no. Mistaken, Nicole no. Rogers. No. Mistakenly. No. Shh, shh, shh. How is it that you can be just justice for you when you're the judge? That's really messed up. Of course you There's a hierarchy. Oh, <laughs> and, wow. and, and I'm the low, medium, and top of the pool. Sorry. Wow, you have many depths about you. Okay. 
<laughs> the last exclusive we're offering on Friday is... I love this one. Cataclysmic Majesty. This is the Naughty Hollow Wicked Woo! Metallic Edition. Woo! Oh, yeah. Go down. Only 77 serial number copies. This will run you $100. These will go quick. This is a really beautiful piece. I love that DeBalfo. I know one of y'all skipped, uh, scooped up that DeBalfo Jeweled Edition I offered during the vault sale uh, of this image. It was really beautiful green. It had some nice little... Schwatsky crystals in there. I probably said it wrong. You did. Okay, that means I need vodka. Can I have some vodka, no. please? Okay. Um, so this will run you $100. <laughs> if you'd like any of these editions signed, you can get that done. I'll sign them. You'll sign them. Mm -hmm. You'll lick them. Mm -hmm. You've already licked some of these. So that is the offerings we have for you guys coming up Friday. Now, if you're a club member, you get those at 9. General public, 10. So just saying, sign up today for that club. All right, here we go. That's some fun stuff for you on the catacombs today, people. Nicole said so much for saving money for the new Kickstarter. Well, at least you have a month to pay it off, though. You know. That's, that's <laughs> true. That's true. We offer a lot of pretty things. So since it's October, I told you all I was going to be putting some Halloween-themed books from the vault throughout the month. So let's start it off with Lady Death Devotions, Sky Spell BP Ooh. Edition by Elias Chadzuda. Bam. Available right now, just in time for Halloween. But wait, there's more. I have more for you. Yes, Nicole, I will. What did she say? She wants to know if I'll lick her books. I want them. <laughs> that okay. will not. <gasps> Ace, that is not nice. Thank you, Ace. <laughs> That's not nice. The value will go up. Okay. Fine. Moving along. <laughs> wow, Brandy's <laughs> storing you off in a huff. All right, more things from the vault for you today, just in time for Halloween. This is Lady Death Hot Shots Lady Drac Edition, low number five. This is from the vault. This is also, I believe, from the vault, the final copy of this edition. There is no more once this one has sold out. All right, two offerings from the vault right now. This is uh, Lady Death Mischief Knight, Monster of Death and Sign. This is edition five and six. Five and six are available right now on the catacombs. Available now. I'm glad we have horror themed Marvel uh, homages because they're the greatest. All right, next up, this is Lady Death Visions. This is an AP4. This is the Leatherette edition. AP4, Leatherette Edition, up now on the catacombs. Really? Really, Nicole? That's how you're going to... All right. Apparently, people like my reactions. Anyways. All right. There was only 10 of this edition made. 10 copies were made. This is AP4, Lady Death Heartbreaker, Hollow Foil Edition, limited to 10. This is AP number four. This is a holographic cover. Beautiful piece. I have it available right now. I think after this one sells, I may have one more. Still digging around the vault and find things out. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Next up, Lady Death Gallery. Death Crawler Edition Gold. Gold edition. This is an AP6, and it is available right now for you. Marat Michaels is the cover artist. Stunning look, stunning look. Do I? I, I hope so. <laughs> All right. These are also some fun books I found. These are the last copies I have of the signed and numbered Lady Death, A Medieval's Tale, number six. I have an old classic Coffin Comics COA to go with these. So as I mentioned in the past, a lot of the older Avatar, Chaos, and CrossGen stuff, those books that I've been selling uh, for almost two years now, those books were the building blocks for Coffin Comics. These books helped build our company. So these are the last of the signed and number editions of A Lady Death of Medieval's Tale 6. All right, some more fun for you. Again, these are the last of the last. 
Last copies of Lady Death Medieval's Tales 9 are now available. Number 9, number 9, and I don't mean no in German, I mean 9, the number. 9. 9? 9. 9. And after 9 always comes the beautiful number 10. 10. I feel like I'm on Sesame t today. Waka, waka, waka. Uh, waka, waka, not... waka. He's yeah. still a Muppet. They're all Muppets. It doesn't matter if they're on Sesame Street <laughs> or at the Playhouse. He's, he's the Muppets. Gonna, he's going to have a coronary. Either way, someone's hands up. No one's hands up my ass. And if they, so, I'm not feeling anything right now. And that's scaring me. Emily. Issue 10 for Lady Death, a medieval tale, is now available. <laughs> Right now, these are the last copies of Medieval Lady Death. Last copies. So they've been hitting it on. Don't do it anymore because they're going to go along with the last copies of Medieval Tales 11. Again, these are the last copies of the cross-gen Medieval Lady Death. Who's going to be making an appearance? Me. Making an appearance. Sacrificial Annihilation. Also, this was a lot of fun to, to have these things um, over the last couple of years. And this is the last stock I have. And I wish I could get some more of this stuff because Brian wrote them back in the day. Um, his slasher run he did. This is a Nightmare on Elm Street fear book. These are the last copies I'll be presenting you today of the uh, Nightmare Freddy Krueger comics that Brian had wrote. This is it. Once these are gone, we no longer have them anymore, including Nightmare on Elm Street, Paranoid Number 1, The Terror Cover. Again, Brian wrote these in about 2005, so they're about 16 years old. These are the last copies I have available for sale. Once they are gone, goodbye. No more. I'm sorry. These are also the last pictures. This is Issue 2 of Paranoid. Yeah. Issue 2. Last copies. Once these are sold out, I no longer have any cool slasher comics that the amazing Brian Polito had written. Also, finally, the last copies available of Lady Death, Oblivion Kiss, Incentive Edition. These are the last seven copies. This edition will officially be sold out once these copies are gone. Boom, boom, boom. Let me take a look over here since everyone's... Hey... Okay, I thought Brady was going to hit me. Uh, but I'm not a fan of Naughty Prince. You want a Naughty Prince of me? <laughs> no. Stop, don't, don't. Stop! <laughs> yes, print bags are still available. They're still available. I think uh, I put about 30 on. I made 30. Uh, we're down to about 9 or 10 at this point. So there's still uh, print bags available. If you are interested, Ace, um, I will get some more. And yeah, I can make some more. I, I think I made about a hundred or so. So I'm gonna salt and pepper them throughout. I wanna just. Push it real good. You said salt and pepper. Who I is salt and going pepper. on? Not salt and pepper. Who are going on tour with the great new kids on the block? Along with En Vogue in 2022. But there is no Spinderella, so I, thereby I very salt sad. and pepper ain't just, salt and pepper it's anymore. Just pepper. It's just salt, pepper, it's just salt, and, and, salt, pepper and, 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 and someone else. Anyways, all right. Oh, wow, I didn't know it was that late already. <laughs> the discussions we have at HQ when I'm doing live shows is beyond me. So this is going to do it for me. I'm going to go get me some lunch because I'm hungry. We will see you guys at 4 o'clock for our big preview of Lady Death, or Hell Witch versus Lady Death Wargasm. We'll see you guys later on. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.